In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on October 29, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. Or thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Dallas Mavericks vs. Minnesota Timberwolves The Dallas Mavericks hit the road on Tuesday night to face off against the Minnesota Timberwolves in a highly anticipated rematch of last season's 2023-2024 Western Conference Finals. In that thrilling postseason showdown, the Mavericks emerged victorious, securing the series to advance. However, the stakes are different this time, with both teams looking to establish themselves early in the regular season. The Mavericks have started their campaign with a 1-1 record, notching a win at home against the San Antonio Spurs, but falling short against the Phoenix Suns on the road. As they prepare for this game, Dallas will be coming off a Monday night matchup against the Sacramento Kings. Meanwhile, the Timberwolves have gotten off to a stronger 2-1 start, bouncing back from an opening night loss to the Los Angeles Lakers with two consecutive wins. Dallas heads into the game with a few lingering issues on the injury front. Both guard Dante Exum and forward Maxi Kleber remain sidelined, leaving the Mavericks slightly shorthanded. On the other hand, the Timberwolves appear to be in excellent health, with no players listed on their injury report. Historically, the Timberwolves have given Dallas trouble in the regular season, winning three of their four meetings last year. However, the Mavericks flipped the script when it mattered most, dispatching Minnesota with a 4-1 series win in the playoffs. The key to that success was Dallas's ability to isolate Luka Doncic offensively, allowing the all NBA guard to either punish single coverage or break down double teams. Doncic thrived in these scenarios, finding his big men for alley-oops and exploiting mismatches whenever he was given the chance. Despite last season's playoff success, this game feels different. The Mavericks are still finding their rhythm, adjusting to a new offensive scheme that features Klay Thompson in the starting lineup. In their last outing against the Suns, Dallas struggled to get production from their bench, which managed just nine points. Conversely, the Timberwolves boast a stronger second unit, led by guard Don Dive Vincenzo and forward Naz Reed, which could give them a significant edge in the bench matchup on Tuesday. Since this is only a regular season contest, the dynamics will shift compared to their playoff meeting. The Timberwolves won't have to deal with Luka Doncic or Kyrie Irving playing heavy minutes, especially since both stars are coming off a game the previous night. Given that this is the second leg of a back-to-back -back for Dallas, it's likely that head coach Jason Kidd will manage their minutes carefully to prevent fatigue. Even though the Mavericks are typically a solid team to back with the points due to their competitiveness and high ceiling, it's worth noting the scheduling disadvantage they face. Additionally, the Timberwolves have looked sharper in their past two games, and there's little doubt they've had this game circled on their calendars as a chance for revenge after last season's playoff exit. While the Mavericks have shown flashes of their potential, including a gritty win over the Utah Jazz despite an off-shooting night from Doncic, the Timberwolves seem to be the more polished team at this point in the season. Julius Randle, who joined Minnesota in the offseason, has integrated seamlessly into the lineup and made an immediate impact. With fresher legs, the home court advantage, and an extra layer of motivation stemming from last year's playoff loss, the Timberwolves are likely to come out with more energy and intensity. For these reasons, the Minnesota Timberwolves to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. When looking at the trends, both teams have consistently put up points against each other, with seven of their last nine combined meetings, spanning both the regular season and playoffs, going over the projected total. The Timberwolves had no problem keeping pace with the Mavericks' high powered offense last season, scoring at least 118 points in three of their four regular season matchups. Given that Dallas will be playing the second game of a back-to-back, -back, fatigue on defense could be a factor, making it easier for Minnesota to score freely. The Mavericks have averaged 115 points per game in their two wins this season and the Timberwolves have been just as efficient offensively, putting up just under 115 points per game in their victories. Considering these offensive trends, along with the fast pace both teams are likely to play it, we project that this game will comfortably go over the total points line. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Denver Nuggets versus Brooklyn Nets. The Denver Nuggets are set to take the court for the second consecutive night on Tuesday, this time squaring off against the Brooklyn Nets. Historically, Denver has dominated this matchup, winning five of the last six meetings both straight up and against the spread. The key question heading into this matchup is whether Brooklyn can shift the momentum and turn things around on their home floor. As of now, the Nuggets have no players listed on their injury report, giving them the luxury of playing at full strength. In contrast, the Nets are still short-handed, with key contributors Bajan Bogdanovich, Trendon Watford, and Ben Simmons sidelined. Denver was in desperate need of a victory to break out of their early season slump, and they managed to secure a win in overtime against the struggling Toronto Raptors last night. However, the performance was far from convincing. On the other hand, the Nets stumbled out of the gate with two consecutive losses to open the season. But in their most recent outing, Brooklyn delivered an impressive upset win over the Milwaukee Bucks, suggesting they may have found some rhythm. While Denver's inconsistent start makes it hard to confidently back them, the Nets' ongoing injury concerns and inconsistent play raised doubts about their ability to compete at a high level. Although the Nuggets haven't looked sharp through three games and they're coming off a tiring overtime contest, this matchup against a weakened Brooklyn team presents an excellent opportunity for them to notch a decisive victory. There is little room for excuses here. The spread remains reasonable and the Nuggets should have what it takes to win comfortably. If the Nets were getting more points as underdogs, I might have been tempted to side with them. However, with the line being short, the Denver Nuggets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Looking at their recent history, these two teams split their two meetings last season when it came to the over-under, averaging a combined 232 points per game. Both squads ranked among the slower-paced teams in the league last year, finishing in the bottom third for possessions per game. So far this season, the trend has continued. Denver ranks 27th in pace with 100.8 possessions per game, while Brooklyn sits at 23rd, averaging 101.3 possessions. A bright spot for Brooklyn has been the emergence of Cam Thomas as a primary offensive option. He has stepped up in a big way, scoring over 30 points in two of the team's first three games. In addition, Dennis Schroeder has been shooting efficiently and seems to be thriving in his new role as a starter for the Nets. With both players in rhythm, Brooklyn is capable of doing its part to keep this game competitive. On the other side, Denver's offense has struggled to find consistency, but superstar center Nikola Jokic will be determined to shoulder the load and get his team on track. While Jokic can't do everything himself, his ability to elevate the play of his teammates should be enough to ensure the Nuggets contribute on the offensive end. Historically, the over has hit in six of the last ten meetings between these two teams, suggesting there's potential for another high-scoring affair. Given the talent on both sides and Brooklyn's defensive vulnerabilities, the over on the projected total looks like the smart play. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.